All right, meteorologist Alexis Clemens joining us this morning. A light round of snow overnight, right? Yeah, that's right. I mean, we just saw all of that rain on Monday. There is a look at that flood warning that we were just talking about uh, over towards Green and uh, Rock counties there. But yeah, just a light wintry mix. It's a very tiny and weak system that passed over us. So one thing that you might notice and something that I noticed this morning is that you might see a dusting of snow on different parts of the ground. It's not everywhere. It's just different parts, really the area that weren't warm and wet from the last couple of days. So and you can see a lot of it's not even showing up on our snow total estimates of the last 24 hours uh, and roads doing just fine. So that's another thing uh, that is very good about today. Yeah, your winter conditions roads are doing fine. So that is a good news there. You might just have to wipe off uh, the that snow there. Just uh, can use the windshield wipers though with that won't take long at all. Let's take a look back at February though. Now as we enter into meteorological spring, the warmest temperature we saw was 48 degrees. That was Valentine's Day and the day after the coldest though. February 3rd, we hit negative 8 degrees in the morning right after Groundhog Day. The rainiest was just two days ago on Monday where we saw an inch and a half rain. This is all from the Dane County uh, Regional Airport. The snowiest uh, was 4.8 inches on February 9th. So rain actually that put a really just that rain that we saw on Monday that put us at the sixth wettest February on record for snow. We got a little under average uh, for for the month of February, but we're still three inches above average for the season, uh, the snow season so far. So the uh, weather folklore that we see is uh, March is in like a lion, out like a lamb. I'm thinking it's the opposite, at least for the start of the month, because we're really it's not going to be too bad today. Just a few flurries that we're tracking this morning, but mostly dry afternoon sunshine. And I think we might even hit that first 50 degree day of 2023 today, March 1st uh, here for your Wednesday. So cloud cover, few flurries might be flying about this morning, but roads are looking fine. We're going to see more sunshine today. Nice little breeze out of the southwest. I think that'll warm us to about 49, 50 degrees later on this afternoon. Cloud cover tonight, maybe a few flurries again flying about as that system just passes overhead, but things really are not doing that that bad out there. And then for Thursday, not looking bad either, just cooler. We're going to cool into the mid to upper 30s Friday. That's the day to pay attention to because as we take a look at your future track here, it is a big system. It's going to track all across the country there. And uh, right for the longest time when we were watching the system, it wanted to stay to our south to where it would miss us completely. Now that's not the case. I think a lot of us are going to see some snow, especially Madison and Janesville, those areas in between. So Madison and areas to the southeast, definitely going to see snow, it looks like, through Friday. Areas to the northwest, it's not as likely, but I do still think we'll all see at least a little bit of snow. Plowable wet snow is what it's looking like for Friday. The chance for four inches of snow, a 70% chance between uh, Madison and Milwaukee. A little bit less of a chance closer to La Crosse, but it does look like uh, the plows are going to have to come out on Friday again. So we'll be watching that. Your extended forecast temperature at 50 this afternoon, 37 for Thursday, and then uh, we will be breezy with that snow on Friday. It'll all melt this weekend, though, and then we'll have another chance for mostly rain into early next week. Let's take a look now.